Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to The Sims. I don't know why I'm crying. Hey, Jellyfields! Let's watch you poop. I just got done doing a live stream on Twitch where I was playing bass. Um, playing Rocksmith 2014, I love doing that. And the real Jellyfields showed up. I was like, this is so cool. This is one of the things I love about all of you all who have ended up being a part of this LP, whether your characters have been in it yet or not. It is such a blast to run into you in real life. And you're like, did you run into her? Is Sims real? Well, the character the person's based on. Hello, Remington! Watch out for that teddy bear. What are you gonna play, Super Paul? Apparently we can only afford a snowboarding game. Mr. Squishy is sleeping. Some people agreed with me in the last episode, or a few episodes ago, that I should get the log roller. How much is it? Oh, there's the phone! Super Paul, get that damn phone! Answer it, man! Super Paul's got the day off from his hard, hard job of being an internet movie critic. He has all the skills he needs to get promoted. Answer the phone, you cum nut! What do you mean, trash? Wait, there is no trash around you. Go answer the phone, you... Come on, quit being difficult. No! What the fuck is... Go here! Stop playing computer. Sim me is like, no, I'm playing video games, <laughs> fuck you. What do you mean trash? There is no... What the hell is wrong with you, super me? Oh, you're pissing me off. The newspaper? Is that the problem? Are you serious? Thank you, Jellyfields. Oh, no, that's why. Derp. I put the trash can in front of the phone. Like an idiot. Merry Christmas. It's winter times. Hey, Jellyfields. Is Super Paul available to talk? Yeah, sure. Why not? I like how neither of them were able to reach over the trash can. <laughs> Impossible feats. Wait, did she say no? I thought said yes. Oh, okay, good. For a second there, I thought she just hung up on whoever I was going to talk to. Who is that? That looks familiar. Let's go to friends. That is our good friend, Seamus Melroy. He's on the uh, Navy team. Why are you so sad, Jellyfields? Paranormal Penguin. While investigating a large industrial freezer, Paranormal Penguin finds that notorious organized crime boss, the Banana... Uh, currently wanted on several charges, frozen in a block of ice. She's like, I put you on ice. It seems the banana wanted to prevent himself from having to appear in court. Should Paranormal Penguin have the frozen banana stand trial, or should she attempt to stand him out, or thaw him out first? Um, put him out frozen. With the banana still frozen, the prosecution has an easy time with the case. Witnesses speak freely, the banana is unable to spin facts, and his usual charisma is lost in the frost. Having tried while frozen is a brilliant move that nets paranormal penguin a worthy promotion. I'm not sure she might have circumvented the real justice, but the guy's in prison at least. Well done, paranormal penguin. What's your new job? Surveillance operator. Listening has always been a strong suit of yours. Now you're finally being paid to do it. Keep your wits about you and your concentration sharp. The hours are a bit later, but a little extra work on your intelligence skills can catapult you into the local intelligence limelight. Um, so she works for the NSA now? Right now, she's monitoring what videos you're watching. Does she have to go back to work? You know what, Super Paul, why don't you play some music, right? That'll make people like you more. Or you could go outside and... I don't know, it's winter, have fun. Oh, wait, no, I think these guys are going to play. I think Angel Cake and Jelly Fields are going to play a game. Super Paul automatically got a guitar. I didn't have to tell him to. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Mr. Squishy has to go to work soon. Oh, why'd you hit your kid in the face, Jelly Fields? She's like, think fast. I'm not raising a kid who can't catch. What are their sports skills? Oh. oh my god, look at how good her creativity is. Maybe we should get Jellyfields a different job. One where she doesn't have to worry about charisma or body so much. Maybe when she comes back, if I remember. Come on, Super Paul. 
Keep on jamming in the free world. Uh oh. Paranormal penguin fell asleep stinky in the master bedroom. It's because she spent all her time on her job being um, the best investigator ever. And she's got to go to work tomorrow. I think she missed the ride. Super Paul's gained a point of creativity. Hey, Angel Cake, don't you want to... No? I forgot that we were building our expansion room here. How much is that log roller, though? Let's go to the purchasing thing. Of course, we're going to buy it in the winter. What was that? Hobbies? No, it wouldn't be under books. What the hell was that under? There we go. Deluxe log rolling pit. Where the hell do we put that? Why can't I put it back over here? <laughs> really put it by the house? Alright. Quit, quit being stupid. Place yourself. There we go. Now we have a log rolling pit. Now we're totally hillbilly. That would kind of fit. There's our pool and here's our log rolling pit. We're going to have a fancy house with a driveway and stuff. Oh, I think Jill's back. Hello, Jill. If I tell you to leave, will you chill off? Oh, inappropriate. Inappropriate tits. Who are you? Who are you, bro? Who are you waiting for? Oh, you're waiting for Mr. Squishy. He's like, Mr. Squishy, I'm going to take you to the gig. He's like, shut up, kid. I'm a famous comedian that nobody pays attention to. How's he doing for his job? He oh, he needs more charisma. He's too rude. Ooh, Angel Cake, do you like the hillbilly log rolling pit we got? Come on, this looks like fun. She does not like it. Come on, girl! It's amazing! Check that shit out. You get a log roll. There you go. I don't think I would do that in the middle of winter, though. You might smack your, fa fa your face on some ice. Come on, Super Paul, join her. Enough guitar. Log rolling time. You're all gonna get hypothermia and die. Yeah, you put on your winter coat. <laughs> that would be f that would be terrible. It hurts. Uh, it's worse to hurt yourself in the winter, you know. It's like, oh, it hurts more to hit a log and then fall into freezing water. Son, though, this is a two-player game. Let's do it, Angel Cake. Are you prepared to take on the Paul? I'm ready to wreck a high schooler. That sounds weird. What's oh, what's up now? Suck it! <laughs> You've collected a memento of your vacation. What vacation? We didn't go on vacation. <laughs> Who did it? Angel Cake? She got... Um, what the hell is that? For relief from current worldview and self-image, provides complete reorganization of psyche and mental health. Drink entire... She's got some mind-altering drugs? You're not supposed to be doing drugs, Angel Cake. Come on, get back on! Get on my log! Come on, it's on again. What's up, girl? Nobody... No! Oh! Damn it. This might be good for Angel Cake, she might actually make a friend. She's like, I can make a friend if I can destroy them. <laughs> Zahn! Prepare to Zahn! What the fuck? Super Paul, you should have quit after one win. You're going down, Angel Cake! Prepare to suck it! Yeah, yeah, no! Damn it! It's not fair, it's because you have a lower center of gravity. You are genetically better off at doing this. Oh my god. <laughs> Super Paul, just just stop. Just stop. Serene's return. He's brought over home 602 bucks from his lawyering gig. Or, I mean, what is he? He's not a lawyer. He's uh, a campaign manager. Welcome home. 
Oh, he's stinking. He smells of politics. You take a big old poo. Uh, look, you can watch Ian P as we um do this. There we go. That's better. I, I swear they're both gonna get hypothermia and they're gonna have to go to the hospital. Come on, Angel Cake, you ready to get destroyed again? So what's that make it four to two with her in the lead? Yeah, yeah, cheat, Super Paul, cheat. <laughs> Nothing like cheating a kid to get a win. <laughs> See, Angel Cake, you need these nimble skills for when you're gonna destroy people. Her body skills probably about to go up. Uh, the onset of the season completely changes your simple wardrobes. I know that. Did she change color? Oh, I think she's getting hypothermia. I think she actually is cold. Um, girl, you better go inside the house. That's what happens when you play in this frozen water. You better go in the house and get some, like, hot chocolate or something. Um, Super Paul, you can go to bed if you need to be. Oh, wait, no, 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 you're not sleeping in the pee room. Sleep in the master bedroom, that's where you belong. Oh, dear. Are you gonna be okay, Angel Cake? Please don't get hypothermia and die. I mean, I thought it was a miracle that we saved you from getting taken by Child Protective Services. Ooh, what are you reading, Sir Ian? Does it say? Oh, I can't get in close enough. It looks like it's backwards. He's moving his mouth, so apparently he reads out loud. Please be okay, Angel Cake. Please be okay. Who are you, Gordon? Oh, did that freeze over? Or is it just dirty water? I love that dirty water. Welcome home, Mr. Squishy. Where are you going, Mr. Squishy? Are you going to judge your log rolling pit? We do have mail. You could pay the bills, no? Alright, just wander around, why don't you? Where the hell's Paranormal Penguin? Oh, she woke up! She woke up from her bathroom nap to take a shower! Oh, and she's starving hungry. Oh, well. She's an adult. She can make her own food. I'm not her mama. Ooh, it's best friend's room! This is what you need, Mr. Squishy. T hang out with Sirian. You guys are like besties anyway. If you look at best friends, aw, oh, they're best friends forever. He's even thinking about Mr. Squishy, despite the fact he's right next to him. And then CJ. Or Blue Jay, sorry. Angel Cake, you got me seriously worried, though. You should not be, like, off-colored like that. Please warm up in bed and don't die. Hey, what's up, Paranormal Penguin? Yeah, you go get some food. What are you going to make? Oh, man, that's harsh. She could have come and laid in bed with Super Paul because she had a crush on him and did before, and she decided she'd rather sleep in pee bed. Fine. Fine, I'll go find someone else to lay in my bed. You'd rather sleep in pee bed. That's how it is. I don't... You know what, Jellyfields? It is. It's time for you to find a new job when you get home. She's got so much creativity. She's just wasting it. She's climbing under rocks, spelunking, and she's like, You know, this would be a great song, or a great movie picture, or a great photo. Oh, Super Paul, you sleep so good. Um, Paranormal Penguin, if you're hungry, go eat. Yes, I know, it goes in your mouth. That sounds wrong, sorry. No, sitting in the chair is not eating. There are things that are eating and not eating. Sitting in a chair is not eating. Right over there? That's the, um, where we keep the food. There you go, girl! 
Oh, Jellyfields is back home from work? And she's brought a friend home with her. I don't know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have had her look for a new job, but... I don't know, she's got all that creativity. Do not sit there! Damn it, Paranormal Penguin. Of all the chairs you could have picked in all the houses in the world, you gotta pick mine. Uh, Chloe, you could bother to say hi to people. She's like, video games! It's like when you're a kid and your friend is in a, uh, like a console or a game you don't have, and you just want to go over there and be like, I just want to play with the game, but I gotta be nice, too. <laughs> please, please move, Paranormal Penguin. Uh, Jellyfields is not happy because they're a life thing. Whoa, what the fuck? Jellyfields! What? Uh, I like you as a friend and all, but we're just friends. We're best friends, apparently. Oh, no. Will Paranormal Penguin get jelly if she sees that? We're just best friends, baby. Best friends sleep in bed together, don't they? Not if they're of the opposite sex, usually. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I didn't even know Jellyfields and Super Paul were best friends. Oh, I think. Oh, Angel Cakes returned to her normal color. Thank God. Super Paul's gonna wake up and be like, hey, Para. What? Jellyfields? I mean, you're good looking too, lady, but. I think someone has got a crush on me already. Oh, the house is getting unquiet. Everyone's snug as a bug in bed. Not a creature was stirring, except for Chloe, the neighbor, who wouldn't fucking leave. I should go to bed, Angel uh, uh, Paranormal Penguin. Anybody want to get the phone? No? All right. <laughs> I kind of want Paranormal Penguin to come into here and walk into this, but I'm not going to make that happen. She was swimming in the middle of the winter? Girl, you're going to get hypothermia too. Got some dumbass people in this house. All right, Super Paul. Answer the phone if you can. Hurry up. Who the hell is calling us at almost 1 a.m.? That seems a little late to be calling a person. Uh-oh, Chloe walked in on this. Bye, Chloe. Oh, man, I got up for nothing? Are you serious? <laughs> That's frustrating. Jellyfields, when you wake up, though, I want you to go find a new job. Nobody's using that. We want to find you a nice creative job that's going to meet your skills and hopefully make your life happier. She wants to kiss. She wants to be flirted with. She wants to ask a sim on a date. She wants to play guitar. She needs a boyfriend. That's what she's looking for. Mm, certainly will not be Mr. Squishy. Hopefully it's not going to be Super Paul because Super Paul already has one. Music career? Take the job. Come on, you're really good at creative stuff, Jelly Fields. If you look at the job thing, well, first level you can be whatever. I guess we'll save that all for next time as we roll out on our winter wonderland. I love playing this game. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. It's almost like Christmas here. Merry Christmas to all and to all. Oh, we can't see our log rolling pit. Good night. <laughs>